Uh, well, someone asked me about this chair the other day. Uh, Zoe, was it? And another YouTube user been looking at it. And I thought I'd make a video on how you can make one. Uh, sometimes called a Viking chair or a Stargazer chair. Uh, origins are unknown. But it's quite simple to make. Uh, it takes a couple of planks of wood. But, if I could leave the bark on this. This is one of those rare occurrences where you're actually going to use the base plate on the bottom of your jigsaw at a different angle. It doesn't happen very often with this tool. Which size is that? It's most. Left to do now is trim off the bottom the pencil to wood. Okay, so that's the angle there, and that's the angle. There. Okay, it's pretty much done. It needs running over the belt sander again though, doesn't it? To get it nice and smooth and you might want to consider putting some sort of decoration in the middle of it, perhaps a heart or some other Celtic type design. Uh, well, let's check the test test now. See if I fucked it up, see if the wood is good enough.
print yourself out some uh, shapes off the internet uh, or design some yourself. These ones here, they're yeah, quite traditional. Uh, I copied those from patterns made by my grandfather on chairs that he made. Great grandfather, local coffin maker. Shapes are all cut out, and now it's ready for the final sanding. Now, I've got a belt sander. They're not cheap. Well, the ones at Aldi and Lidl are cheap, um, and they'll do for a couple of jobs, but for longevity, it's Nikita. I find even this is on its last legs. Uh, it took a lot. Always make sure that the belt is going with the grain this way. That way all the lines will be going this way. You're going to go over it with a finer grit anyway. You start going over it this way, you'll score it deep and it'll be a lot harder to get out. Okay, so always go with the grain, but you can do a lot of circular motions like that as you work an area. Here we've got some ripping up going on. Now, what we'll do with that is we'll, we'll sand it this way, and I'll come back and sand it that way. Because so, the grain will be running down this way and flaring up, which is why this is breaking off as this is pulling back on it. Right, so it's gonna take a bit of while, it's a bit of time this, and uh, my back's going numb anyway. Let's crack on. Now I'm hoping this piece here come out really nice. There's some spalting going on in the grain. So oh, let's do it. Let's get it finished. Okay, pretty much done, pretty much finished, done all my sanding that I want, I'm quite happy with what I've got left. So, give it a quick rub down. The cloth, get most of the dust off. I'm going to finish this with some natural oil. There we are, we have it, it's done. About a three hour project, a couple of pieces of wood, some tools. Might take you longer depending on the, on the tools that you've got. 